my channel. Today I am testing out a new foundation. I've been testing it out all week and I wanted to put it up for Foundation Friday yesterday but I needed an extra day to test out this foundation because I've been wearing it all week. It reminded me of another stick foundation that I have here in my collection that I absolutely love that's like so much cheaper. So I wanted to test it and compare it side by side, wear it for the full 12 hours and see how it performs and see how it compares because this is a more expensive foundation and I just don't see the need in spending that much if there's one that's super similar to it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the review. I am talking about the new Guerlain Terracotta Stick Foundation. They just released this foundation, I would say like maybe a month ago or so. It's not available at Sephora. The only place that I've been able to find it is obviously the, the Guerlain website, but also Nordstrom's. I think Bloomingdale's has it. Maybe Neiman Marcus. I'm not exactly sure, but I will leave links in the description box down below for places where you can pick this up. But the foundation that I feel like it reminded me so much of is this one from Makeup Revolution. I wore this four days in a row by itself, so I really know how it wears. And then today is the first day where I'm actually wearing it side by side with the Makeup Revolution. So let me get into the differences of these two foundations because it kind of now has become one of those reviews where I am doing like a comparison video. So the one from Guerlain only has six shades, which is really, really bad. And the thing I will say is that this runs pretty warm. And I think Michelle Wang actually reviewed this foundation herself and she had the lighter shade and she suggested in that video that it ran a little bit on the warmer side. This one definitely does. So, you know, if you're more on the cool tone side or if you're neutral and can't wear warm, then I don't know, you might really need to go in store and see, I don't know when they're gonna have these in stock. In my local Nordstrom's in Salt Lake City, they don't carry this. I wanna buy it from a place where you can return it because it might not, you might not be able to find your right shade if you're not able to wear a warmer undertone. So this retails for $47. It has 0.38 ounces, which is 11 grams. That makes it $4.27 per grams. So this product is actually made in France. They are claiming this is a waterproof foundation, buildable coverage with a luminous finish. So that's the information on this one. So the Makeup Revolution foundation, this retails for $9. It's actually on sale on the Ulta website for $5.40, which is a really good price for this foundation. Comes in 18 different shades. I wear shade F10, which is described as medium with a golden undertone, which I do feel like this does match me pretty dang close. And this gives you a fresh dewy finish with like a medium coverage. This has 0.21 ounces, 6.2 grams, and that comes to $1.45 per gram, but that's at the retail price, not the sale price. So even the sale price would be much cheaper per gram. Full disclosure, I don't know that either one of these is going to work for somebody who has oily skin or combination skin. I kind of just feel like, I mean, maybe combo. If you wear a pretty good setting powder, you might be able to wear this. It depends on if you like a more luminous, dewy type finish, but I would not really recommend the, either one of these for anybody who has oily skin because I just feel like it would just slip and slide on your face. I personally love this foundation. This has been one of my favorite stick foundations. And even though I have a lot of high-end foundations in my collection, none of them, as far as the stick goes, matches up to this one and even though some people really liked the bare mineral stick foundation i did not have good luck with that one so as you can see as i'm applying these both of these in my opinion melt into the skin like they both just have such a beautiful luminous dewy healthy finish and they melt into the skin they're both very skin like and I really liked this one. The entire week that I've been wearing it, I've been very, very impressed with the way that it looks on my skin, that healthy glow, and I don't feel like I have to pile a bunch on, and even though some of my hyperpigmentation pokes through, I'm totally okay with that because it still gives me that luminous, natural looking healthy skin, but I get the exact same results with the Makeup Revolution. So I thought, why not test these side by side, do some close-ups, do a six hour check-in, 
do a 12 hour check in and give you guys kind of the rundown to really test these because I have been wearing this for about a year since it came out. I think this was released last year sometime, maybe last springtime, and I've been wearing it pretty much off and on since. So the whole time I've been wearing this, I'm like, this is so much like this one. Now recently I reviewed this one from Guerlain. This is the Il Essential. I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't have those fancy, I don't know how to pronounce fancy words. Hell, I don't know how to pronounce normal words, let alone fancy words. But this is the Eclat Natural Glow Foundation. Now this is not available in America yet, but I had to order this from the UK. And this has not been my favorite foundation. It just didn't give me that natural glow that I was really looking for. And I like the foundation, but I don't love it. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful on my skin. That's what I was really hoping for because the bottle alone just is absolutely beautiful. But it just didn't really work for me and I really wanted it to. The one that I do like from Guerlain though is the Natural Perfection Foundation. Now I reviewed this one. I actually did the whole, uh, what was it? The challenge to have Sephora, you know, pick my foundation. Of course, you know, the stupid app had to pick the most, ex one of the most expensive foundations I had. But this one, I really, really like. This one does give me a very natural finish. It's long wearing and I really like this one. The first shade I ordered was 04G, I believe is what it is. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. But I actually had to send that back and get the 04N because the G literally was the golden undertone made me look orange, like Oompa Loompa orange, like bad spray tan orange. It was not a good look. So I had to, you know, return it and get the 4N. But this one, I bought it the exact same way. I bought the 4N and this one is so much lighter and you can even tell in the bottle how much lighter they are. So that's all the rundown on everything that I am reviewing today. I do feel like it was worth kind of pushing this off to the side for an extra day. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So this is the Guerlain side, just so you guys can see what that looks like. And then this is the Makeup Revolution side. I'm not really seeing much differences between these two. In fact, I kind of feel like this side looks better. Maybe I need to add a little bit more coverage on this side. So let me put a stripe of the Guerlain right here. and blend that out. All right, let me turn off the ring light. Makeup Revolution side, Guerlain side. And honestly, I'm not seeing any difference, which is kind of what I thought was going to happen. Through the monitor, it kind of looks the same, but on, in my opinion, looking through the camera or looking through the mirror, this side looks just a little bit more youthful is all that comes to mind. But other than that, I'm not seeing the difference between these two at all. The way that they apply, the way that they blend out. Um, both of these are very, very, very creamy and blend beautifully on the skin. Very easy too, very quick application, doesn't take much. That's it for this application portion of the video. I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, so I'm back for a midday check-in on both of these foundations and I have been swatching my little heart out. So I've been trying to find dupes for the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, even though I will not speak about the controversy because there's just really nothing else to be said. But I do have a full video coming up of so many options I found in my collection. I don't have it for all 11 sheets. Some of the darker shades I bought, I just don't really have a lot of those shades in my collection. They're, but anyway, I found a lot of different options, uh, affordable, uh, you know, pricier. I will be uploading that video very soon. I did just really went through all of my collection. I went through every lipstick I own because I just really wanted to try to find as many options as I could. And I think I found quite a few. In fact, I know I did. I got I got a lot. It's I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make that video, but I've been swatching my little heart out. 
So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see how both of these foundations are wearing, but they look so similar. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know that anyone could ever detect that I was wearing two different foundations. I don't, I don't know, but I would just have to assume. Let me show you what time it is first. I should probably show you, huh? I'm all, my head's all into like swatching. Like all I think about is lipsticks. So it is currently 6.30. So actually you guys, I have had this foundation on for eight hours. So this isn't my six hour check-in. This is about an eight and a half hour check-in. So just FYI. So again, I'm looking very luminous and you know, I know I have to point this out because sometimes I will, you know, some people will think I'm looking very oily. Uh, I'm not looking, I don't look oily in person, but the lights are reflecting off of my skin. So when you sit in front of a light like this, that is what's going to happen. You know, you're going to have more of a reflection, but in real life, my skin just looks very luminous and very, um, hydrated, but not like dewy or like oily or anything like that. So I just kind of want to make that perfectly clear, but this is the Guerlain side. And I mean, it looks, the thing about this foundation is it wears very naturally. Like I don't really have one complaint to be quite honest with you about this foundation. This is the Makeup Revolution side and the Makeup Revolution side looks exactly the same. Like you would never know that I was wearing two different foundations ever. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the ring light. Okay, so because these were a little bit more of a dewier type of luminous finish foundations, I did set my face with the Hourglass uh, Translucent Setting Powder. And I also used the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder, just kind of in like my T-zone. I like the way it looks over my pores and stuff. So this is what it looks like without the ring light on. And as you can see, this is just a little bit more of a natural lighting. So I just have the two umbrella lights sitting in the corner. You can see that I'm not as shiny as I am when I sit in front of the beauty light. The ring light just really reflects off my skin. But when I just have the beauty lights on and I'm just kind of sitting in front of a window, it's not direct sunlight. And I also have the two, like I have lighting up above me that's just like normal room lighting. But this is just, both of these wear so similar and they're both really pretty, like really pretty foundations. And I just love the way that how natural my skin looks with these on. For having them on for eight hours, I think they look amazing. Okay, so that's it for this check-in and it's Friday night. I got a lot of stuff to do and I will come back right around midnight and give you guys my full final thoughts on these. But so far, you guys would never know that I'm wearing two different foundations and I like both of these so far. They look both really beautiful and just really radiant and healthy and all that. So I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Okay, everyone, I'm back for my final thoughts. Now, I was for some reason thinking that I would need to wait until midnight. I'm, you guys, I, ugh. anyway, it's been a crazy day. <laughs> so, I have officially had both of these foundations on for uh, almost 13 hours, because I applied it right around 10 o'clock this morning. So, it is currently almost 11. I've got water on my phone. Anyway, so it's almost 11 o'clock. So, I've had it on for about 13 hours. But both of these have held up so good. My concealer, and not so much. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys in so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I would say it's a little bit more patchier on this side than it is on this side. So, let's go ahead and pull you in. So, this is the Guerlain side. And as you can see what I was talking about, a little bit of patchiness. Again, it's been 13 hours, so. So, I mean most of us are not wearing our foundations that long. I do. I start my day, I start filming between like nine and 10 o'clock in the morning and then I am up editing. I don't go to bed until like two in the morning. So I am definitely a person that wears my foundation for a really long time. 
but I think majority of people don't. And as long as it wears off naturally, like I don't mind this because I'm not expecting it to look amazing 13 hours later, but as long as it looks pretty decent, you know? So this is the Makeup Revolution site. And yes, I have a pimple coming over here and no, I'm not very happy about it. And that zit's almost ready though. Hot damn, I am ready to pick it too. The Makeup Revolution side, in my personal opinion, looks better even though it has worn off right around my hyperpigmentation area, which is normal. And I only applied a little bit extra stripe right here when I applied it today. All right, let's turn off the ring light in more natural lighting, which is just real lighting and the two umbrellas on the corner. Like you can see I'm missing some right around here, but this wears off so naturally, both of them do that I just, I think they're, you know, I don't mind that as long as it wears off natural and it's not like really patchy and weird. And if I can get a foundation to look good and strong for eight to 10, I'm happy. Okay, so let me get into my final thoughts. Let me just say this, in all fairness to this foundation, this is a beautiful foundation extremely natural, extremely long wearing. It's just a very natural, long wearing foundation. Every day that I've worn it all week, I've loved the way my skin looks. This is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And in my opinion, it's better than this one is. And I feel like the shade matches me perfectly. So if you correspond with my shade, then I think the shade medium in this will be good for you. But let me just say this, I still think I prefer the Makeup Revolution one. I love the way this blends out. I love the way this applies. I love the way it looks. I love the way it blends. It looks so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite affordable foundations. On the weekends where I am not, you know, playing around with another foundation or kind of wearing some of the newer ones, you know, because I do like to do review updates, which is what I put up on my channel yesterday. So sometimes in between testing foundations, I will wear other foundations that I've recently reviewed, that type of thing. But this and the Lancome Skin Feels Good, those two are the foundations that I reach for when I am not doing any of that, when I'm not wearing any foundation that I'm gonna be testing out or I'm not wearing any foundation that I recently reviewed to continue to wear it. This is something that I pull for when I go on vacation. I just absolutely love this foundation. Like I said, I do not think that anybody with oily skin is going to like this. I do feel like it would slip and slide. Combo, you would definitely have to be somebody that likes a more luminous, dewier type finish. But for those of you out there who are dry normal, and maybe you have mature skin, both of these look amazing over wrinkles. They don't settle into my fine lines. The thing about both of these though, I'm sure it would if you went in too heavy, but you really don't need to. I would say you get more coverage with this one than you do this one, but this one is so buildable without getting too cakey or too heavy. It's a very natural buildable coverage, but you guys, I honestly feel like this is a major dupe for this one. Let's just say that I knew nothing about the price, I knew nothing about the brands, and I was just going to apply a foundation that I liked more, I would pick this one just because I do really love the way this applies. It's very natural and every time I wear this, somebody compliments my skin. These two are just really beautiful foundations, very natural, healthy, radiant, glowing, like everything that, you know, somebody with dry, mature skin wants, you know what I'm saying? But let me just say this though, this one is amazing too. If you're somebody out there that likes Guerlain and you like, is it Guerlain or Guerlain? Who in the hell knows? At midnight, at, at 11 o'clock at night, I don't really care, but, if you're somebody that really likes this brand, this is a phenomenal foundation. And I just, I still feel like this one is so good. Like, so good. And I really love this one. I gotta order me another one now that it's, you know, $5.80 on the Elta website. And it's such a good price for this foundation. And it's an amazing foundation. So that's it for my review you guys i definitely think that this is a dupe like i'm gonna be completely honest this is a dupe now i'm not saying based on ingredients because i'm gonna, i never even once looked at the ingredients so i'm not gonna come on here and tell you i did because i sure as hell didn't but based on not looking at the ingredients just based on this has reminded me of this foundation all week long and then i wear it and compare it to it it's pretty much the exact same type of foundation. So if this is something you were considering, I would grab this one because it's so much cheaper and 
it's just as good. So that's it for my review on the Terracotta Foundation. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys for the love that you guys show me and my channel. It's been a rough week with all the drama and I am so happy to be back to makeup because I can't get up, I can't get caught up in that drama. I can't. It warps my mind. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.